Do you want a ton of freaking diamonds? If you do, you came to the right place. So we're gonna use a popular method involving the clay in swamps or rivers. Let me explain. A lot of clay chunks spawn in these symmetrical, kind of circular patterns. Now doing some quick math, we can actually dig in a certain direction, dig down, and find diamonds almost every time. So there's two separate methods, the swamp method and the river method. Let's do the swamp method first. So first off, try and find clay clumps that look like these symmetrical circles, okay? Like this one or like this one. I mean, we can still use clay clumps like this that aren't circles, but it takes a little bit of practice. So for a start, I would say find a big open circle like this. Next up, take out either a compass or press F3 and you wanna be facing the south direction. So right here is south for me. So now go in the middle of your clay circle and break out that one block as a marker. Now this next part depends on your version. So if you're playing in 1.17, follow this and I'll show you a previous versions method afterwards. But in 1.17, go to the center facing south, place one, two, and on the third block, you're gonna dig straight down. And usually we can actually find diamonds doing just this, just digging straight down. Okay, no diamonds in this spot, but this is a very efficient method. So let's try it again. Here's this small circle right here. So go one, two, and then break down on the third block facing south. And would you look at that, we found diamonds. Yes, guys, it really is that simple. Now, if you're in 1.16 or previously, it's not three blocks, it's seven blocks. So again, dig out the hole, we'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, then dig down on the seventh block, okay? I guess they fixed that with a new update, but I got you, don't worry. Now, if you wanna perfect this craft even more on Java Edition, press F3 and G to show chunk borders. Basically, you wanna make sure that the center of your clay patch and the place you're digging at are in the same chunk. So for example, if I was in 1.16 and I had to dig seven blocks this way, I'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven goes out of the chunk border. That's gonna mess things up, okay? So if that happens to you, try and find a new clay chunk that's not gonna go over the border. So this method works often on about 85% of seeds. On the other 15% of seeds, it works not that often. So unfortunately, Mojang dealt you a hand of cards that you just gotta play. If your seed sucks, I'm sorry. But hopefully you're in the majority and you can enjoy the luxury of finding diamonds with ease. That being said, let's talk about the river method. This method is a lot simpler because there's a lot less ground to be covered with your clay patch. But also, there's less clay in rivers in the first place so it's kind of harder to find it. When you do find a clay, like I found right down here, let's begin. So once again, you're gonna wanna face south. Then you're gonna go to the center of your hole once again and break out that block. But this time we're only gonna do one block, then dig down on the second block facing south. There's not three blocks, there's not seven blocks. It's just one extra block you gotta dig down. And let's see, can we find anything? Nope, not that time. Now the hard part about the river method is that it's really hard to find open clay patches in such a small little river. And like this here is not a river. This is a giant lake. It doesn't work in lakes. So I gotta go find a small river again. It's kind of annoying. But if you are lucky, you might just find yourself some diamonds. Now, if you guys can't find a swamp and you gotta use the river method, I get it, go for it. But honestly, I think the river method is not that good. I mean, it works, but I think it's so inefficient. So I'd rather just go find a swamp and do it there. And right on cue, here's the swamp. Yes, I love you swamp method. You're so superior. And by the way, if you think your seed is one of the unlucky seeds, don't dig out the three blocks, dig right down the center. Basically, if you have one of the bad seeds, it's more effective to just dig straight down than it is to actually do the gap. I don't know why that is, but I guess statistically, mathematically, for some reason, you're better off just digging straight down into the clay. So assuming you do have a bad seed, digging right down the center is a 50% chance of finding diamonds. But if your seed is good, the middle is not really effective at all. Well, yeah, guys, that's the whole method for finding diamonds in swamps using clay. I recommend you mix it up and don't just use this method exclusively because it'll get kind of boring and it's really easy. I'd rather have some sort of a challenge in the game, but it's up to you, I guess. Do what you want. But for me, I'm not going to use it too much in this world because 
I think it's kind of cheaty. Not cheaty, but you know, it's too easy for me. I want a challenge. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. But regardless of what you do, like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.